we should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. You said you didn't know about the Thorian. I don't like being lied to. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I never meant for this to happen. Just tell me where I can find the Thorian. No more lies. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. What bothers me is why the Geth were after the Thorian in the first place. Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard. Damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did on Torfin. There's no reason for this to get bloody. Not this time, Jean. You need to back down and let them go. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jean. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Are you gonna tell them about the Thorian, or should I? The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. You're a bean counter, Jong. I'm a specter. Tell me, how good are those odds? <laughs> Spectre. 
monster. It's a load of crap. There aren't any human specters. Right? Is that really a chance you're willing to take, John? Exogeny will send more assayers. They'll know what happened. Tell them the Geth destroyed the Thorian. Yeah, but the infected colonists can't be here when the company men come. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. Anything hostile will be eliminated. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure there's no evidence when you're done. You shouldn't be wasting time. Deal with the Thorian. I'm glad you've decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. You've got one minute. I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopine, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. Dodgy. But it just might work. I'm not doing it. At least take the grenades, so you have the option. My men will keep everyone safe here. If you're going, it should be soon. We'll stay out of your way until you clear a path. Good luck. It's almost... Please try to avoid hurting the colonists. Use the nerve agent I gave. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. Just give me my credits and I'll be on my way. You bet. Thanks for all your help, Commander. Not a bad outcome. Your handling of Exogeny... or not I want a clean sweep nothing hostile lives to take a second shot 
I hear that. But what about those nerve grenades we jury-rigged with Bainham? We don't have time to waste on these people. There's a galaxy at stake. Very well, Commander. If that's what you want. Right to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people don't trust me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't!
Okay, by the numbers. We just need to find them. To find them. What is that? Nothing's ever simple, is it? Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You enslaved the colonists. You destroyed their minds. I don't know what Saren wanted with you, but I just want you dead. The Thorian is a piece of this world. Extending across the land and back through the ages. You can no more kill it than cut the sky. Your blood will feed the ground.
We are going to need bigger g Invaders, you're a... I speak for the old growth. You enslaved the hostile spot.
All targets down. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. How do I know this isn't some kind of trick? This is no trick. The Thorian is dead and I am myself again. My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. 
You chose to side with Saren. So did Matriarch Benezia. Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Sounds like you Asari got in over your heads for once. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. That's what you get for trusting Saren. Saren is quick to betray his followers and his allies. Once he had what he needed, he ordered his Geth to destroy the Thorian. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. Just give me some plain answers. Where is the Cypher? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. You taught Saren, you can teach me. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are a part of you now. What just happened? Are you okay? All I saw were more weird visions. It still didn't make sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look a little queasy. We should get you back to the ship. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. 
it transcended all classification. And now it is gone. The galaxy's a better place with that thing dead and gone. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I'm grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature, but now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. You were allied with Saren. For all I know, you still are. I can't just let you walk away. Your suspicions are understandable, but you freed me from the Thorian and from Saren. I am on your side now. If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. You change sides too often. I have no choice. You must die. So be it. If this is the fate you feel I deserve, then I will not resist. You tried to do for us. Saved a few. It's more than most would have done. Anyway, thanks. We'll start again. Just not here. We'll be gone as soon as a transport arrives. Well, you killed it. At least that's something. But there... Looks like the colony will serve. It's nice to find... We've never had funding like this before. Oh, thanks again. That data will be very valuable once I get out. All traces of the Thorian will be erased in short order. Ferris will have a second chance thanks to you. Commander, glad to see your survivor encounter with the Thorian. Oh, thanks again. That data will be very valuable once I get out.
Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? My brain's been scrambled like an egg. How do you think I feel? I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Nobody's messing with my head anymore. I'm sick of dealing with these visions. I understand your reluctance, Commander. But the visions are already there. I only want to help you make sense of them. It may be the only way to stop Saren. Make it fast. Time's a-wasting. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! That was... incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. Looks like we're back where we started. Quite the opposite, Commander. I think my knowledge of the Protheans will prove useful before this is over. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Are you sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. Are you sure it was the joining? Your I role know. in our commu- The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours- We're done here. Dismissed. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, is this some kind of game? Are you calling in a report just so you can cut us off again? You know it. That never gets old, does it? Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. I have to go. All right, see ya. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. Hell of a deal you worked out with Jong, though. <laughs> if I ever get a speeding ticket, I want you to be my advocate. 
Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Well, they know about the stonewall that you've had from the council. Those communications are classified, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. But you know the Navy grapevine. They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Another L2 flare up. Is this going to be a problem? No, Commander, it'll settle down. It's rough sometimes, but they spike higher than a lot of L3s. Except for you, of course. Besides, I fared a lot better than some after Kinetics was through. You distrust them that much? You know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified. Because the Alliance made mistakes. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. The Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. Get your knuckles wrapped a few times, Lieutenant? Yeah, you could say that. Our instructor was a Turian by the name of Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Kind of spiraled from there, Commander. Sounds like a classic drill instructor to me. The ones at the Makapa boot camp were brutal. Vernus didn't just push us because it was effective training. He liked it. Anyway, this is ancient stuff. I walked it off a long time ago. I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history, not rehash it. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? I just want to talk. Of course. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. So you saw us as some kind of joke? As I said, I was ignorant about your species. But I have been watching you and your crew. I feel as if I have learned a great deal. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're basically saying we bully other people to get our way. Unfortunately, that is how most of the galaxy sees you. I understand why they think that way, though I don't necessarily agree with them. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I don't care what the rest of the galaxy thinks about us. But you should. The Council made you a Spectre because of what they saw in you. You are special, Commander. You represent the best of what humanity can offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did on Torfin. I cannot even imagine how horrible that must have been, but you did what had to be done. Now you're digging into my past? Invading my privacy? I am sorry. I know it was wrong, but after our last conversation, I was too embarrassed to approach you directly. I was afraid I would say something stupid again. 
I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Don't try to justify this. You're obsessed. Obsessed? All I did was look up some information from the extranet. I would hardly call that an obsession. I apologize if I offended you, Commander. But you had better get used to this kind of attention. You are the first human Spectre. The most visible representative of your species. The eyes of the entire galaxy are watching you. I don't care what the rest of the galaxy thinks about me. On this ship, I'm in charge. And I don't like my crew digging into my past. Understood, Commander. I will keep our relationship strictly professional from now on. Good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I'll bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. So what was it? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure that out. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Somebody's making a killing out there. What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Good thinking. Blackies are always easier to scare. Exactly. Though in this case it paid off in a different way. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body. Some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. So he was growing spare parts in his own employees. Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran. Blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. 
By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. We just used them to make more organs, but they wouldn't listen. No wonder you hated it there. Those idiots just let him fly away. Yes, they did. I went to Patham and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. A few casualties is a small price to pay to stop someone like that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, those hostages might be wishing they'd died by now anyway. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart, his idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? We lost a lot of the colonists. I don't see how we could have done more, but I still feel bad about it. I mean, we are out here to protect them. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. I heard it. I don't need to tell you it's inappropriate to gossip about how cute your superior officers are. It won't happen again. And, uh, I have no interest in the lieutenant. Do you have a few minutes to talk? I'm sorry, Commander. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Dismiss, Chief. Sir. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up, to stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding, at least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. 
You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any strong. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You're trying to make me cry, Shepard. I've got some unfinished business with my family. But that's all. What kind of business? <sighs> Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. What's so important about this armor? It's a relic. Useless, really. But it was worn by five generations of my family before the war. It's rightfully mine. Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now, it's in the hands of Ton Actus, a Turian scum who collects relics from the war. He's made millions selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. He's got several bases where he stores his goods, all fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. I think I already found it, Rex. Let me see. Yeah. This is it. Hard to believe my ancestors wore this piece of crap. But at least it's back where it belongs. Thanks, Shepard. I might be starting to like you after all. You're getting soft on me, Rex. <laughs> Just because I like you doesn't mean I wouldn't kill you. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Why are you so cheerful? I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First we stop Seren, then I'll worry about my own problems. I should go. See you later. Commander, good to see you. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the Comrade. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. 
He didn't seem that interested in helping me before. Why now? The Council agreed that CERN was dangerous, Commander. That was why we made you a Spectre. We only balked at unleashing the full force of the Citadel fleet against him. Nobody on the Council wants to see you fail, so we contacted you with this latest information. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. I don't like being kept in the dark. We can't have you racing around the galaxy chasing false leads, Commander. We only contacted you because we feel this may be significant. Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. The missing infiltration team's not my problem. Clean up your own mess. That unit may have sacrificed their lives to get this message out. Saren is up to something on Vermeer. You'd see that if it weren't for your stubborn human pride. I will find Saren, but I'm doing it my way. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else.